I don't know if you saw this on on a different show, Extra Time, which I believe has been canceled. So don't even Google it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. There's really it's uh, a str- the struggling. Yeah. Extra time, right? And that's fine. I mean, they had their own thing, but we're here. Uh, and that's why you're watching and listening to us. Uh, but apparently, uh, you know, they, they're trying to start it up again. So Burr Halter was on. <laughs> and uh, Greg Burr Halter, obviously, friend of the show, uh, calls it Taylor Ham. And then third on the list of his accomplishments is the head coach of the men's national team. Uh, he said that he thinks the perception around the world for MLS is changing into a league with value, a value league, as he calls it, as opposed to, you know, what it was known before as a, you know, sort of retirement league or a place to go when you think your career is mostly over. Yeah, uh, I mean, look, as a, as a U.S. men's national team coach, what else is he going to say? I Wait, thought you were going to say, as a men's national team coach, my city. I'm like, when did you become <laughs> a men's national team? Why did they ask me? <laughs> what else is he really going to say? But I think now there is. I, you know what? Here's the thing, though. You would, he would be called out for it. If it was wrong, I mean, it does seem. Oh yeah, look, it's a, I, it's a correct assessment. You know, a, a couple years ago, we had uh, Matt Doyle on the show, right? When we this was before the the men's national team was playing. Uh, oh no, this was after. Did we have him on after the, uh, the Kuva? I think I believe the, so. Yeah, because we uh, asked him like, where do we go from here? Yes, and he yeah. and he basically. Um, no, I, I'm almost sure he was on before. Like, I think it was like something if we missed the World Cup, would it, you asked, if we missed the World Cup, would, d- d- don't you think that this would uh, force people to change and all these other things? That's essentially what you had asked. And he was like, no, that we should not, <laughs> that should not happen. That would be a terrible uh, situation. But I do now, remember that now, yeah. In but- hindsight... Look at wh- how the not only wait, hold on, say it. Was I right? <laughs> say you, it. It's not about being right or wrong. No, 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 no. Say it. <laughs> Don't you dare politicize this. <laughs> say it. I was right. Look, in it, look, look, this is what was what I ended, wrong? What was I were, wrong? Yes or no? What ended up happening? Look, I'm going to give you your props. Give me a second, though. <laughs> okay. like, that's all I care about. <laughs> Everyone, listen in. Make sure you hit record. <laughs> you know, he he thought that that was that would have been devastating and would would have hurt the program and what we're seeing is that what you s- suggested what you foresaw mm-hmm. was correct ah! that- <laughs> I guess that- we end the show now Christian said I'm right <laughs> get the big board we got one for Alexis <laughs> all right we're good now uh, what are you going to do after cooling <laughs> the what what ended up happening was not only ha- have we seen the the investment in 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 youth uh, but the business of soccer has been has been wildly profitable for MLS right we know they they uh, um the US USDA uh, uh, folded uh, or, or they dissolved that and gone and doing MLS next. And and now they were like, OK, we we the, we saw what the old system got us, which is missing a World Cup. And now we can see, like, not only are we going to make it to the next World Cup, but we're also going to get in some serious guap on the yeah. way there, because it really just in these you know, four years, three and a half, four years, the, the, the level of, of, you know, the rebranding of U S soccer of like, not only they have a seat at the table, it of got like, its groove back, right? It's like post divorce. It's, it, like, it got, it, it's got its groove for the first time because yeah, now, that's a good point. That's a good because point. now U S MLS clubs, uh, uh, and now there's a real, like, Oh, we can, not only can we just have a thriving league and, 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 and have some entertaining games, but we can be a competitor in the world market when it comes to selling players. And that you know is, who to give, you know, who to credit that to, that's who? all Weston McKinney. Remember when he moved from, from FC Dallas? FC Dallas got nothing for that. That's right. And MLS was like, yo, <laughs> I ain't look- can't, be, can't be doing this. <laughs> right? We, we built this. And you just going <laughs> to take this from us? Like, yo, from now on, we're, like, we're going to figure out a way to make sure these kids that we're developing, the whole point was to make all of this, you know, sort of make this big effort into developing the youth, the potential future was to be like, oh, well, then we'll have great players in the league. And now I think that, and to your point, over the last four years, I saw like, well, if they're valued to our league and other other leagues want them, we can make money transferring these players that we develop to other leagues. Well, let's do that. And because of that, and to, and to Per Halter's point, that's why the perception has changed. You know, the idea of not being a selling league for so long seemed like 
such a mistake. And now that we're like, all right, fine, we'll send you the, our youth players that are great, and you can continue to develop them or just have them start right away. Look, everything that's changed from Alfonso Davies to now uh, Brian Reynolds. I almost said Ryan Reynolds. He's not going to play soccer anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, he owns the team, though. Yeah, he owns the team, but he ain't getting on it. And you're the <laughs> owner. You're not good enough. Uh, but uh, Reggie Cannon, you've got you've got these players that have gone out there and are showing. Uh, you know, even the Mark McKenzie's like being purchased by the not the top club. You don't have to be the you know Mark McKenzie. I wouldn't put him on the same level as like a Christian Pulisic. You know what I mean? Like shock the world as a youth, but. You, just doing what you do is good enough for a team that is a champion league level team to want you is a huge step forward for yeah. this league. But that's and that and that's the hustle, right? That's in world football. The hustle is uh, the 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 movement of players and exchanging yep. money and 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 MLS was not a part of that for a long time. If you're not if by you're, choice it, by choice and also the the if your players and the quality of players that you're producing are are, are not respected, then. You're going to be left out. You, your pocket's going to be empty. And mm-hmm. and uh, uh, look, the the I, I you know a lot of credit to FC Dallas. I think FC Dallas is what um, changed what uh, I think people think of American soccer. Uh, yeah, and, and, especially uh, the player, the American soccer player. And didn't Brian Reynolds pick FC Dallas because he knew? That those players? I, no, no, no. That was, I believe, Tanner Tessman. Oh, that, Tanner Tessman. Tanner Tessman. Okay. Like everybody's like they they could be living in Maine and they're like. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Dallas. So I, you yeah. know, I, I and that and that's every you know the Manchester United Academy. If you have a, a choice to pick and 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 you live in that area, yeah, you, you go Stockport. That's in like the <laughs> you know nobody knows. Or you go yeah. Manchester United. You're like yo. If it doesn't work out in Manchester, I bet you Stockport will take me. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. Yeah, it's 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 easy to be like yo, but it's like the, a lot of the players that go through the Barcelona Academy. It's like. I went through the Barca Academy. You got yeah. to take a chance Look, on me. Well, we it's uh, FC Dallas is the Manchester United of MLS. Okay, we should start calling him Sir Lucci Gonzalez. Okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. so uh, you know, uh, Dynamo fans, <laughs> uh, feel free to let us know how you feel. Austin FC fans, let us know how you feel about Christian saying that FC Dallas is the Manchester United of the MLS. <laughs> All right, we got so much more coming up. And again, we have Trinity Robin coming up. So stick around. Stick around.